In this video, we will talk about the relay output design and understanding on the iGro 100 series controller. You see, the iGro 100 series has four or eight output relays that are provided as dry contacts switch closures. In other words, if an output is activated to on, the switch is closed, shorted, and if it's activated to off, the switch is open no continuity between the positive and negative terminals. Now, the dry contact installation design is used when a user wants to isolate equipment and use transformers for every piece of equipment. You can also land a 24 volt source on any negative and then daisy chain with jumpers the negatives to provide power to multiple outputs using one transformer. Now the board mounted relays are intended as pilot relays which simply transmit signals to the high current load. This method is necessary to buffer the controller against harmful currents. You want your outputs to control a load relay or contactor that is connected to the motor. However, in some cases, such as 24 volt irrigation valves, you can drive them directly assuming that you are wiring only one or two valves per relay. Now the maximum current recommended for each iGro 100 series relay is one amp. The general installation strategy is to install the equipment in the greenhouse first and then run your control wire to the controller. Running your wire connections through the liquid tight connectors or conduit at bottom of iGrow or integrated panel. Making any additional holes on the top, side or back of enclosure can result in water condensation inside the unit causing damage to the controller. In order to minimize interference, it's recommended that sensor input wires go through their own dedicated connector and power wires and non-sensor wires through the other connectors. Note, do not plug in the power while wiring the iGro and keep the manual override switches in the off position. When done with your wiring installation, simply power back up the controller and use the dip switches to confirm that your equipment turns on and off and is operational. After that, it's time to program your equipment to turn on in accordance of temperature, relative humidity, and time. And that's our video on relay output design and understanding on the iGrow 400-800 control.